What's the deal, YouTube? It's your boy Tank B Chopping coming at y'all with another haircut tutorial. On this haircut, we're actually gonna be doing a low fade. Uh, we're not taking anything off the top. So let's go ahead and get to it. So I start off this haircut by putting my initial bald guideline in with my Babyliss Silver FX. And as you can see, I'm dropping it in the back. Most of my low fades come with a drop in the back. Matching them up from one side to the other. Next step, I'm taking my Babyliss Foil Shaver and I'm taking off all that hair with the shaver. So, what, it, what I'm doing here is I'm coming up to that line, but as I get closer to that line, I'm actually uh, relieving some of the pressure and I'm using a slight flick out motion. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Sometimes I even come down when I get closer to that top line. That also helps with taking out the line and help giving the, uh, the haircut a nice fade. All right, so now I got my wall magic clips and I'm creating my guideline. I'm coming up with the clipper open about three quarters of an inch. I know how I do it, I like to fade down, so I'm starting off with this first guideline, and then I'm going to close my clipper halfway, and I'm going to come up about halfway, and then I'm going to close my clipper all the way and try to take out that bottom line. Next step, I got my number one guard. And same thing, I got my clipper all the way open. And I'm coming up about another three quarters of an inch. Slight flick out motion towards the top of that guideline. And I've said it before, I like to use a fade brush to brush down, all the, uh, brush down the hair and take off all the excess debris. And then I just adjust that lever, close it halfway, and then close it all the way when needed. So now I got my 116 guard and I'm trying to take out that bottom guideline, I'm sorry, that bottom line that you can see in between the clipper open and my number one guard. So here I'm just adjusting my lever where I feel it needs to be adjusted and I'm just trying to fade that line into the, to the one, number one guard. And you can see I'm using a little bit of corner blending also. I'm just doing what I got to do right here to help take out that line. Alright, now I got my one and a half clip. Same thing, I'm gonna be coming up about three quarters of an inch, but I'm using more of a flick out motion towards the top of this. As you can see, I'm getting a little closer to that parietal ridge, so I don't wanna go into the haircut. So I'm flicking out when I get towards that parietal ridge. And you can see I'm adjusting that lever when I feel I need to to take out the lines. Now I got my number four guard on there, and this is the biggest guard that I normally use. And as you can see, I'm really just guiding the clipper up and outward. So a lot of people don't do this. Uh, I'm doing it because he likes to comb his hair to the opposite side and I don't want to go straight up and I also don't want to go into the haircut. So I know he's going to comb it over so I just take off just enough to where it still looks good when he does comb it over. So now I'm fading downward. I got my number two guard. And I'm just adjusting that lever when I feel it needs to be adjusted and just try to take out them dark spots. See, you can see I'm adjusting that lever and I'm using corner blending even with my number two guard. A lot of people only use that corner blending with the, with the smaller guards. Uh, I feel you can use it with any guard when, you know, if you know how to use it properly, you can use it with the two guard, the three guard, the four guard. It doesn't even really matter as long as you know what you're doing with it. So here's my one and a half. Doing some corner blending, doing some slight detail work. Now here's my 1 8 guard. Touching up them dark spots and I, I think this fade's coming along man. It looks like it's coming along pretty good. Now I got my Babyliss trimmers and I'm just taking out that bottom guideline that I initially put in from the get go. 
And now I'm starting with his C cup. Giving him a nice curve. Some more detail work. I, I tend to do that a lot. I like to uh, do my edge up and then I'll start doing a little bit more detail work just to give it a, a better look. You know, I like to give that nice blurry effect on all my fades and I feel that sometimes when you think the fade is done and you come back and you line them up and then you, you might have to do some more detail work and it just makes it look uh, better. Alright, so we did, what we did to that side, we're actually doing to this side. So I'm doing the same thing. I got my clipper open, coming up about three quarters of an inch and I'm just coming up and adjusting that lever. So I actually sped up the video for this part. Y'all gonna see me cutting hair pretty quick right here. So uh, as of right now, I'm actually uh, out of town. I'm on vacation with the fam, but you know, I'm still grinding for y'all. I'm still putting in work, still trying to put out these videos. I got this tutorial. I, I got a few tutorials in the vault. And from my last video, if y'all watched it, uh, I know there was some problem with the audio. I don't, I don't know if y'all use headphones, if y'all just watched it on the phone or whatever, but if you happen to use headphones or you had it on bigger speakers and you have, you know, stereo, you'll be able to hear that my vocals were just basically coming out of one side. Uh, it's obviously something I'm going to have to fix, but I didn't know that because I'm doing a lot of my editing on my phone. I don't even use a laptop. I do everything on my phone. I shoot videos on my phone and I edit on my phone. And when I shoot on my camera, I just up upload it to my phone and then I edit it on here. So I didn't know that it was going to come out of one speaker, but I'm uh, I'm going to fix that for future videos, guys. Yeah, like I said, me and the fam, we just out here in uh, in Alabama. We just, you know, enjoying the spring break right now. So I told my wife I was gonna do this little voiceover real quick, and you know, I'm in here in the hotel room doing it while the while the fam's downstairs swimming. But that's enough about that. Let's get back to this cut. All right, so y'all can see I'm using my Babyliss trimmers again right here, taking out that bottom line. Lining up that C cup. And what I'm gonna do on this side that I didn't do on the other side is I'm gonna do some clipper over uh, clipper over comb work. So you see, I have the hair saturated, and I'm just using that comb and cutting down that excess hair that's popping out of the comb. So I keep my comb flat on the head. Uh, I don't even know what brand comb this is. It's like some Japanese carbon comb that I bought off of Amazon. Uh, it's my favorite comb. I, I have the Andis one, the Babyliss one, the Wall one, and those. I just don't like the way they, you know, they hold the hair too good. And this one, one of my uh, ex co-workers told me about them. Shout out to my boy OG Cuts. He's the one that actually told me about that comb, and I found it on Amazon and ordered it. It's a good comb. When I when I find out the actual name of it, I'm gonna put the link in the descriptions, and y'all can uh, y'all can go cop that comb. Little, it's a little pricey, but I feel it's worth it. I right, see. So I saw me do his edge up. I really don't have to talk too much. We just started at, at the middle of the hair line and just went over to the left and went over to his right, make sure they were even. And that was basically it for the edge up. So now I'm doing the back. And I know the back when it comes to low fade, sometimes it's uh, a little difficult to keep this, you know, this fade looking and uh, this fade looking unison, you know, looking like one fade. So sometimes you have to turn them to the sides just to uh, just to make sure the fade is, you know, getting placed right on the back. So, but the same thing applies here. I'm doing the same exact steps. You know, like I said, I, I always like to fade from open to close. So I'm just doing the same thing here. I really hope y'all enjoying these videos, guys. Uh, if you have any suggestions for any videos I should be doing, uh, drop them in the comments below. You know, share these videos for your boy. You know, I'm trying to grow this channel. You know, I'm just trying to put some good quality content out there for y'all so share these videos let y'all people know about me man i'm just i'm out here grinding i'm just hoping y'all find something helpful from these videos now, so y'all can see i'm using my wall magic clips and i'm just i'm just detailing right now so the fade is basically done but i'm just doing some small detail work that i feel needed to be done So now I'm taking the razor, he was already lathered up, and I'm taking the razor and I'm just, and I'm just going over the lines that I initially made with the trimmers. And I'm gonna make 
sure to pull the, the skin tight. And this is the haircut, guys. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this cut. If y'all liked it, y'all make sure y'all give this video a thumbs up. If y'all don't like it, y'all could even give it a thumbs down. And uh, if y'all have any suggestions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. I appreciate y'all YouTube. Until next time, appreciate it. Let's go.